What's up everybody? So I've gotten a lot of questions recently uh, about whether or not you can bankroll builds on high volatility machines. And the answer is yeah, yeah you can. It's a little bit harder, uh, but you can do it. So today I'm here at uh, Chalksaw uh, Casino in Oklahoma and we have a $500 bankroll and we're gonna try to do some high volatility bankroll building. Now there's a couple of rules that I follow when I do high volatility bankroll building. So let's get into those rules and then let's get at it. All right, y'all. So there are five rules that I follow when it comes to bankroll building on high volatility machines. One, know when to walk away. Now this isn't just on high volatility machines. This is on all slots know when to walk away. The longer you play, the more money you're gonna get back to the casino. So set yourself a walk away limit and know when to walk away. Two, what kind of goes into one is set a limit. Not only a walk away limit, but an actual spin or denomination limit. So when you're playing on high volatility machines, you're trying to get the bonus. The line hits on these games are generally garbage. So you're trying to get into the bonus as quickly as possible. So let's say you're $50, right? Okay, well, I'm only going to spend $50 on this machine. Or I'm only going to do 20 spins on this machine. Set yourself a limit because you just want to get into that bonus quickly and then get out. So step three, find a game with a maxed out major. Now, in my experience, games that have maxed out majors, if you bet at a slightly higher denomination and a higher bet multiplier, you can get in the bonus round real quickly. It's happened to me hundreds of times. So I won't go in, I won't play one cents, two cents. I'll go to five cents and then maybe do uh, two times uh, a bet. And it usually gets me into the free games. Now it's not all the time, but I've noticed a lot of success doing that. Step four, this is always, always important. Read the game rules and know which game to play, and which version of the game to play. For instance, huff and puff. Huff and more puff, huff and even more puff, right? In the original huff and puff, the line hits, the symbols, right? They are worth twice as much as in huff and even more puff. So if you got the same line hit on huff and puff as you did in huff and even more puff, you would get twice as much back on that Huff and Puff game than you would on Huff and Even More Puff. Games like Cleopatra, right? Cleopatra 1 versus Cleopatra 2, right? Cleopatra 1, you're guaranteed 15 games in the bonus round when you, once you get the scattered. Cleopatra 2, you have to choose, yes, do you have those bet multipliers each spin? Yes, you do. But with Cleopatra 1, it's less volatile and you know for sure you're getting 15 spins. So know what you're playing, know the variations in the game, and read the game rules. Step number five, and this is really the most important step, expect to lose. These games will eat through your bankroll. Uh, you've seen it before, not just on my channel, but on other channels before. These games will eat through your bankroll. You should never ever be playing with money that you can't afford to lose. So when you're playing these games, expect that you're going to lose. All right. So I see a lightning link game over there with a maxed out major. So we're going to go over there and we're going to go give it a shot. Let's get at it. All right, y'all. Lightning link. I'm not going to invest too much money in this. Uh, we're just going to give it a shot. Oh, right off the bat, y'all. Right off the bat. First spin. What? And we got the mini, $50. Yo, let's go. Oh, don't tie out on me, come on. Oh, how about another mini? How about that minor or the major? The major's maxed out at a thousand, y'all.
There we go. Come on, keep it going. So this is what I look for. I walk around and if I see a machine that's at the maxed out major, I'll sit down, but I won't play at the lowest denomination. I'll go up to five or 10 cents and do the minimum bet on that. And a lot of the times I'll hit the bonus right off the bat. Now it's not guaranteed, but. All right, one more spin. Can we save it? Can we save it? Come on, save it, save it, save it. Yes. Three more. We fill it up, y'all. We get $16,000. How about that mini, minor, or major? Yes. Let me get that major. I've actually never gotten the major on Lightning Link. I've gotten it on... Wait, no, that's not true. Oh, I have. I just have only gotten it once. Most of the time, it's on Dragon Link. Yes, dude. Two more boxes. Let's go. What? What? We are full up, y'all. We are full up. All right, I don't see it flickering. Last spin, can we save it? Not bad. I'll take it. First spin bonus, y'all. Love it. Oh, not bad, y'all. 93.75. We put $100 in. Almost doubled our prop, uh, doubled our bankroll there. Heck yeah. All right, y'all. So that was best bet. Uh, we immediately got into the bonus round. That was awesome. So at this point, we've doubled our money there. Um, that's what I was talking about. When you look for those maxed out majors, sometimes, you know, right off the bat, you'll hit the bonus. Um, I know they have some Cleopatra games here, so I'm going to go find a Cleopatra game, and that'll be the next one that we play on. All right, let's get at it. One of our favorite games, Cleopatra. We're doing five-cent denominations. We have 20 lines here. And we're gonna be alternating between a uh, dollar, two dollar bets. We got a hundred dollars in. So let's see if we can get that bonus round. Let's get at it. All right, so we need three of those sphinxes to get the scatter bonus. So I just made the biggest mistake you can possibly make. I didn't look at what I was betting. So I just did $5 bets. Now I'm doing $1 bets. <laughs> so I almost made back the $10 I just spent. Always look at the bait table, y'all. Don't make the same mistakes that I did. Share in my treasures. Share in my treasures. All right, thank you, Cleo. This is one of my favorite games. It's actually one of IGT's lower in volatility games, if you can believe it. If you're actually on their website, they actually show this as being one of their lower in volatility machines, so. Oh, can we get it? Come on, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. Oh. Painful. That's okay, you still get paid for them. Two bucks back, not bad. Oh. Ah. Oh. I tried to judo it, didn't happen. It's all right, she's keeping us alive. Live the dream. 
Now, Cleopatra can be extremely lucrative if you get that bonus. Let's see if I can uh, get on the screen just a little bit better. All right, that should be a little bit better. Try two dollar bets. I'm so proud of you. Thank you, Cleo. Oh, what is this going to be? Pays a hundred. Pays a hundred. So, hey, twenty two bucks. Back to where we started. Not bad. Aww. How about we line that up? Let's go back to dollar. Drop it, drop it. Yes, we got it, y'all. Oh, we got four of them. If we had gotten five, that would have been an insane hit. Hey, 40 bucks just on that line hit, y'all. Let's go. Start this feature. Let's it's get something time. big. What I like about the original Clio is that you get 15 free games. And if I remember correctly, two sphinxes. Nice. Two sphinxes get you a retrigger. Let's go, Clio. Come on, something good. Give us something good, Cleo. Share in my treasures. I'll share in whatever you want to give me, Cleo. All right, we're halfway through. We need a retrigger. We need a retrigger, something good. That's what I'm talking about. Retrigger, y'all. Oh wait, maybe it wasn't. I'm so proud of you. I guess I was wrong, I guess. Last spin. I wish you great prosperity. Hey y'all. That was a hundred and six dollar bonus. That's pretty amazing. Take that here. I'll take some of those coins. I'm just gonna take some of them coins. All right, we are up to 184.95. All right, going down to two cents at. 20 cents a spin. Oh, 40 cents a spin. 
Oh, can we get it again? That's what I'm talking about. We got it again, y'all. That's why it's important to cycle through the denominations. Dropped it down to two cents. Three spins later, boom, we got the bonus again. Who knows what it's gonna be? It could be absolute garbage, but we're hoping for the best. Let's get at it. Let's go to the bonus now. Thank you, Cleo. And who knows, maybe we can get a retrigger. Oh, couldn't bring those down. Ah, oh, so many Cleos, but nothing's lining up. Oh man, one more, we would've got a retrigger. Oh, come on. Retrigger, retrigger. Ah, oh, hey, that's okay. Halfway through our game, y'all. Let's get something big. Come on, Cleo. Give us something big. Oh no, we're dying down. Three more games. Can we get anything? Last spin. Enjoy your Okay. So not the best bonus, $7. But you know what? It's $7 more than what we had. And it's a big win, I guess. Okay, we're at 192. Uh, how about this? We're just gonna play it down to 190 and we are walking away with $90 of profit. You know what, just for giggles, y'all, let's go to one cent. Let's go one cent. Finish this off on one cent. Live the dream. I tried it, Cleo. Oh, one away. We almost got it again, y'all. Come on, how about we get that bonus again? Get it out of all denominations. All right, guys, uh, what a great session on Cleopatra. We got two bonuses. Uh, yeah, we didn't double our bankroll, but we're already up over $180 uh, on two higher volatility machines. So um, I'm gonna walk the game floor here and see if I can find something else. Let's get at it. All right, y'all, so we're gonna fast forward through this session. Uh, this is Wealth of Dynasty. It's actually one of the lowest in volatility uh, penny slots that you can find out there. And you can actually win the highest regressive on this game, even off of a 68 cents bet. Um, unfortunately, you can see here, I couldn't get the glare off of the screen. I just couldn't get a right angle. Uh, so it's a pretty hard watch. So I figured, just go ahead and fast forward through this and show you all. I put in $100 initially and played it down to $50 and I think 32 cents, um, but didn't want to have to trouble y'all through watching this terrible, terrible filming job. Um, but again, if you do find Wealth of Dynasty, it's a game that I highly recommend. Uh, the line hits can be really great. Uh, this particular session wasn't too good. Uh, there were some good line hits, especially on a 68 cent bet. Uh, as you can see, I'm also like, moving through the bet multipliers, because if you read the game rules, uh, you do get a better chance of hitting some of the progressives with a bigger bet multiplier. But again, like I said, you could definitely win the highest progressive off of a 68 cent bet. Um, if you see it, give it a shot. It's actually a really fun game. It's really good. Unfortunately, again, the lighting condition was terrible. So that's why we're fast forwarding through this.
All right, we gave it a shot. All right, guys, so that was Wealth of Dynasty. Um, not the best session, right? Um, sometimes it just doesn't work out, and that's important to know, right? Sometimes you will not win. So I'm going to take these $50 that we got left and uh, try to find a different game. Let's get at it. Yeah. Y'all, this is a game I've never seen and or played before. It's called Midnight Express, and it's uh, by Aristocrat. Interested to see how this plays. We have many denominations. Let's start off at $2. Actually, let's start off at $0.05. Cents. $0.05 cents always seems to work out well for us. I know absolutely nothing about this game, so... Hey, we got in. We got into the game already. Lower that down just a little bit. Collect 15 to win the grand. All right, heck yeah, man. Right into it. That's why I like starting off at five cents. Let's go. All right, it's kind of cool, I like it. We already got the $50 mini. All right, it's dropping some good balls. How about that major or that maxi? I'll take the maxi, I'll be happy with the maxi. Oh, nice, that's a good one. Oh, wow, so there's multiple. I didn't even notice that there's a mini, a minor, a maxi, a major, and a grand. Oh, that's cool, I like that. Oh, that sounds good, that sounds promising. Two spins left. Come on. Yes! Hey, that's a good one. Let's fill this thing up. Come on. Hey! Oh, we got something great, y'all. I don't know what this means, but we got it. How about the two times multiplier? Oh, oh. 250, okay, that's cool. That's a cool little feature. Okay, that's not bad, I like that, that was cool. All right, y'all. So we got three more spins. See if we can fill this up for that grand. <laughs> it's a fun, this is a fun game. I'll give it that. Last spin. That's awesome. Heck yeah, y'all. $105. Just on the first spin, too. That's cool. Uh, I'm assuming this thing has a free spin, so let's take a look. Let's 
Oh, there's our scatter. So we get three of those, we get the scatter bonus. Okay. Let's do, uh, let's do some more spins. Actually, I like to soft bet, right? Right after games like this. Let's see if soft bet gets us into a bonus. All right, y'all, that was Fat Rhino. What a great session, right? So we lost on Wealth of Dynasty, but we got it back on Fat Rhino. Um, we still have $200 of our own money, and I see a huff and puff over there, and I think we're going to step it up a notch. Um, I don't know. Let's give it a shot. All right, y'all, so huff and more puff. We got our 100 bucks in. We're going to do $5 at $0.05. Cents. That gives us 20 spins, right? Um, this is not my first choice, right? My first choice would be Huff and Puff. Line hits are significantly better. The bonuses, at least in my opinion, are better. Um, but you go with what's available. Uh, definitely wasn't going to play Huff and even more Puff. That game is garbage. There we go. 10 bucks back. Um, but that's one of the keys, y'all. Remember, find the best version of the game. Um, and at $5, at five cents, the possibilities in the bonus round are really good. Um, oh, uh, I've noticed at one and two cents, the bonuses aren't particularly amazing. Five cents seems to be that golden, that golden spot, so. Sorry, just getting situated here. Ah, oh, come on. All right, four bucks back, less than our bet. Oh, ho, 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 ho. all right, y'all, don't let those hats pull you, right? Uh, just because there's five hats on the board doesn't mean that you're close to the bonus. We're at the halfway point, y'all. So this might be a quick session. But we still have some winnings in reserve. That's always the key is don't dump all of your winnings into one game, right? Spread it out, follow those rules. The key is to take micro wins, right? And we're not getting any micro wins here. We are down to our last three spins, but oh, there we go. Last minute save. <laughs> all right, 40 bucks. Come on, come on. Oh. Anything, I'll take anything. Buzz saws, hats. All right, the last four. Hey, there we go. All right, we got the wheel feature, y'all. Dear God, anything but the mini. I've gotten the mini on this bus, this uh, wheel feature so many times. Come on, come on, come on. How about that major, major, major? All right, mega hat. Now, I've been told that you can actually count these hats, and it's something like every 12th, the 12th hat will be the one that it lands on. So let's take a look. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and here we go, 12. Yeah, there it is. All right, well, we got four straws. 
There we go, retrigger. Nice. This is gonna have to be a real good bonus, because we are low. Come on. How about some wood? How about some gold? Come on. Not what we want. We want a retrigger. Three hats, come on, three hats. Ugh. Alright, so we got a wood house. Hey, man, we got a retrigger. Two more woods. Come on, how about a gold? You need at least one gold to qualify for the uh, the grand. Oh. Uh, well, I can't imagine this is going to be that good. These straw houses usually you get something like half of your bed back, um, but it might be enough to uh, you know just keep us going. I think what we're going to do is we'll play it down to 50. That gives us a little bit more ammo uh, to uh, choose another game if this one doesn't work out. If we don't get another bonus here soon. Come on, hop and pop. Wolfie, be good to me, man. Come on. But this is also really good. This is why it's... I really wanted to make this video is because you won't always look at something. You won't always win on these games, right? Oh, oh, there we go. As I said it, okay. All right, so we're at 80 bucks. So there's a good chance we're gonna come out with some good profit here. Uh, two wood houses, all right, starting off real good. Come on, drop some hats. Hats, 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 hats. Ugh. Come on, oh. Ugh. That's alright, we got a gold house. Come on, hats. Oh no, last one. Hey, there we go. Oh, there we go. You know, I wish though, if you get six hats, you think you get more games. But we've got three gold houses. That should be really good. Come on. Alright. Last spin gave us three gold houses, four gold houses. Ugh. So this could be really good. Wolfie, do me good, brother. All right. Guys, I also won't lie to you. For some reason, my brain does not calculate the five cent denomination, so I have no idea how much money I've won when, I, when these numbers pop up. <laughs> Come on, mini, minor, major. Come on. Oh, we got it. Yo, there we go. We got the minor, y'all. That should, uh, that's what? I don't know, like $500, $600, something like that. All right, making it rain. $545. Perfect, y'all. So we're gonna do some more spins. That's that's a perfect example right there. Don't let that fool you. A bonus is not just around the corner again. We're gonna walk away at 600 and we're gonna leave with a problem. Now if we get up to 700, uh, that'll be our new walkaway limit, but we're for sure leaving at 600. And that's going to set us up for playing some higher bets here in a minute. Alright, last two. Whoopi, you save. Last spin. Alright. Uh, I can't believe it. We're $500 in profit on Huff and Puff. And um, so far, we're almost at $800 in profit, I think, total. Uh, this is a great time. 
this is the normal time to reassess. If this was me playing normally, I would just be done. I'd go up to my room, I'd call it a day. That's a great, great session, right? $800 in less than two hours. That's an amazing, amazing session. Um, but I did promise y'all uh, bankroll building into a jackpot. So I think we're gonna take our profit um, and try to find a more risky game. I saw some lightning links across the way, and I think that's what we're gonna do next. Let's get at it. Corrida de Toros. I guess that's how you say it. <laughs> I have no idea. Despite how I look, y'all, I am not that fluent in Spanish. So we got our $500 from Huff and Puff. Just put it in. We're gonna do five cent denomination, 750. A bet. So, a little bit more than our last. All right. Now, we're going to reassess if we get down to 250. Hopefully. Oh, there we go. So, the bull's going to be our wild symbol, El Toro. We get three of those little bulls right down there. And, uh, we get into the bonus. Uh, I really kind of like playing these Lightning Link versions if I'm ahead, only if I'm ahead. Um, the line hits are generally freaking terrible, but these have those cool bonus features that you can get multiple minis, multiple majors, multiple uh, miners. So that's kind of why I decided on this one. There wasn't any around that had a large major. It looks like these have all popped recently. But hopefully we can have some magic. There we go. All right. Pretty down a hundred, so hopefully we get something soon. Come on, Toro. Give us some love. Ah, oh, blocker. Oh, that'll be good. Maybe? Nope. Not at all. Oh, come on. There. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, at least we got a miner out there. We are getting nothing. Come on. Oh, oh, twelve. All right, y'all. If we get down to two fifty, uh, we're going to try something different because this is not hitting. Six bucks back. Come on, get me into that bonus. Oh, look at the size of that one. Come on, come on, yo, there we go. Hey, we got four. I've always wanted to get five, but four is good. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. This game does have really good music. Look at that, we're already up to 113 on the bonus. Doesn't quite get us back to our starting point, but come on, retrigger. Oh. A matador, I believe, is our best symbol. Well, we can get a couple of him. Come on. Oh, oh. How about a bonus and a bonus? There we go. Not the biggest. So those are 14 14s. We got the mini. Let's fill it up. Come on, fill it up. 
So an interesting thing about these games is you can tell whether or not you're going to get the grand, at least from what I've heard, if there are no empty spaces. So if you always see, like you can see like the spaces sometimes don't have anything in them. Ah, uh, all right. But uh, if they all have the either the ball or in this case the uh, the cape in the box, then that's a good indication that you're going to get the grand. Not bad. A little over 200. Here, let's move this. There we go. All right, so that gets us a little over our starting point. I think we still have one spin left. I know y'all didn't tune in to hear me sing. Go. All right. Not a bad bonus. Not the best, but not bad. 613. All right. Now we're starting to get a little bit more action here. Oh, are you kidding me? Heck yeah. I was actually just about to say that you might walk away at 600, but... There weren't so many people around, I'd do a little dance for y'all. Come on, girl. Come on. How about a bonus and a bonus? Not looking so good. Ugh. All right. Hey. I'll take it. 40 bucks, right? There we go, total. Uh, how about this? We'll... We've gotten some bonuses. Nothing really good hidden, so... 600. That might be good. You know what? We'll play it down to 500. We'll play it down to our original 500. Try another game if we don't get anything big. Just a blocker. Oh, look at those blockers. Come on. That would have been amazing. If it wasn't for those silly little flag thingies or capes or whatever you want to call them. Oh, man. Oh! <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe it. It's three bonus rounds. Dun, 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 dun. How about a bonus and a bonus? Give us the bonus and the bonus. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, not getting anything here. Oh, there we go. That's our best plan D. That's what, like, probably like 70, 80 bucks, something like that? All right, yeah. There it is. That's, that's a beautiful thing, y'all. Look at that. We only need five balls to hit the grand. Come on. Come on, fill her up. Uh, but you can see over here on the right, see how I'm saying that there's nothing in those spaces? Or down at the bottom now? That's kind of the indication that you're not gonna get the grand. But a bonus in the bonus is always great. Gives us two of those. Man, we are. I feel like we're doing really good, but we're only really like $142 above our starting point, but now a little bit more, right? About the same as our last one. So I have one spin left. Oh! <laughs> and we got the miner, y'all! It's $250 right there. Come on, big balls. How about that major? Oh, come on. Come on, how about that major? Drop it. Save. 
save in us. Come on. Something good. Something good. There we go. Are you freaking... Guys, that's... 750. That's 800. Plus 300. We're, we're at a hand bay for sure. There it is, y'all. We just got us a hand bay. Alright, let's take a look at this. Yeah! Here it is. Boom! Boom! Nine hundred and twelve dollars, you guys. Are you freaking? <laughs> I love this. This has been such a good day. I can't even believe it. And I don't know. I don't know. If... <laughs> I guess. Uh... We'll wait for the attendant and get this paid out because that is a hand pay. Look at that. Beautiful. Guys, we just got paid out. Um, I don't know what to say. Uh, sometimes it just works out. Uh, we still have our voucher for 640 some odd dollars. Uh, we've got the $150 from Fat Rhino, the $190 from Clio. Um, we have that other $190 from Best Bet. So that puts us at $1,900 in profit, right? Um, so is it possible? Is it possible to get a hand pay and bankroll bills off of high volatility machines? Absolutely. Is it harder? Absolutely. Can you lose your butt? A hundred percent. You know, I should have walked away at Huff and Puff. I should have walked away, right? Taken my $800. But... You know, I wanted to see if we can get a hand pay, and we did. And uh, it wasn't anything major, but hey, it happened. Um, but know that that's not always the case. That's not how it's always going to be. And you should be playing conservatively, right? When you're up that much, for me, $800 is a lot of money. Um, you should walk away. Take the win, right? <laughs> that's my rule number one is take the win. Um, but as you saw... Uh, my steps that work for me worked today, right? So step one, take the win, right? Uh, know when to walk away. Step two is set that limit, right? The denomination or spin limit, right? Uh, step three, uh, you're going to find a game that has a maxed out major. We found that on best bet worked out really great for us. Uh, step four right know the right version to play right uh we couldn't find a huff and puff we had to go with huff and more puff but still it worked out really well for us and then obviously step five is expect to lose we didn't lose today which is amazing i'm very happy um but uh that's not always the case so i really really hope you enjoyed this uh if you did please hit that like and subscribe button so i can bring you more comment uh content leave some comments down below too um, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. And I can't wait to catch each and every one of you out here at the casino. Have a good one.